Hi Gemini, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of August 2018. If you would like your own personal private psychic tarot reading from me, birth chart reading, um, business birth chart reading, uh, compatibility birth chart reading or more, contact me on my website lamartownsandtarot.com to find out the prices and things like that. I would love to read for you, okay? Let's jump right into your reading, Gemini, for the month of August 2018. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Saturn, and all of those things in between. What's in store for my Geminis for the month of August 2018? What's in store for my Geminis for the month of August 2018? Gemini for the month of August 2018. for the month of August 2018. Let's do the last shuffle. Gemini for August 2018. You guys got the night of Ariel, okay? So you guys are being guided by your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors. Uh, coming into August 2018, specifically if you kind of had maybe a rough July and or June, you know, um, you know, there's a spirit guide around you during those time periods as well, you know, who's really trying to, you know, get you on the right track, I feel, who's really trying to help you to kind of prioritize and focus on the things that matter most at this present time, okay? Here is the present position of four of Raphael, seek out other possibilities, look for the magic and light, be aware of your emotions. August of 2018 also kind of sees you coming into the month with a sort of melancholy, I want to say. Melancholy, I feel, is the right word. Um, and it feels like this is coming from, you know, things kind of out of your control. Um, the unforeseen, I'm hearing. The unforeseen, things out of your control. Not having balance, possibly, as well. So, um, Gemini, maybe August 2018 is, you know, balance is important for you. So, you know, just having balance overall. Work-life balance. Um, Home-life balance. Uh, Relationship-life balance, right? You know, just... You know... It, it feels like things are out of whack. Either things are out of whack, you're out of whack. But it feels like things are out of whack and it's kind of causing you to go out of whack because these things are out of your control and it's feels like it's frustrating and it's also kind of debilitating at the same time and it's just a lot going on but let's see what else we have going on ah so you're going back to your roots this month as well gemini in some way shape or form whether it's you it's you reconnecting with your inner child the strength of your inner child okay the strength to go on i'm hearing um, I think there's a song like that, the strength to go on, but the strength of your inner child, you know, the the strength of your inner self, okay, um, that part of yourself that even during your, your darkest moments or seemingly darkest moments, it feels like that inner part of yourself that kind of pulls you out and it's like, come on, get on with it, you've got this, you know change your perspective a little bit, you know, this is a learning curve, you know, have fun with it, you know, it's that kind of inner child kind of, kind of lightening the load, kind of trying to lighten things up a bit, make things a, a little bit more fun, and if it's not your inner child, it could be your children, or both, your children kind of bringing out the inner child within you, your children kind of seeing, you know, you're down, so they kind of want to play and bring their, that inner child out of you, or children around you, or your pets, you know, it's like, um, it doesn't feel like to me adults, adult children, people who kind of already have their own life going on, who aren't maybe emo always emotionally aware of what you have going on or just what people around them have going on. It feels more so like emotionally aware, but in an unconditional kind of way, people who are kind of tapping into this energy that you're going through, like children, like pets who can kind of cut right through it, you know, and, and kind of see, you know, where you're at, 
and kind of rectify it, kind of pull you out of that um, moment. So this is great energy. The moon. So there's some changes going on around you as well in, um, in July, in August 2018. I'm sorry, I pulled a card from the bottom of the deck. There's some changes going on for you in uh, the, the August of 2018 with the moon here. Some opportunities for you to make some decisions, okay, to improve your trajectory of your life, you know, um, to improve your own kind of mastery of your life, I want to say as well, all right? Listen to your intuition at this time, all right? The overall energies for the month is the moon, the moon at the bottom of the deck, all right? So it feels like a very transitional month for you, Gemini, uh, in some way. Whether it is a spiritual transi uh, spiritual transition, um, a mental transition, a physical transition of some sort. Uh, maybe you are moving or thinking of moving in the process of moving, in the process of going through um, a difficult time in a relationship, a breakup in a relationship or something like that. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship or a marriage. It can be a friendship, you know, relationships that or a relationship that matters to you, I want to say. Things have been a bit rocky, whether it's a relationship, business, things have been a little bit rocky. You know, things have been a little bit unpredictable, you know, especially with Uranus going in Taurus uh, recently. All right. So it feels like you're kind of, how do I want to say it? You're kind of learning to go with the flow. Conclusion is new beginnings. So this is all leading up to new beginnings for you guys, okay? Starting a new life, finding your purpose, forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So this is all culminating to a new beginning of some sort. And this is always how it is, Gemini, typically for the most part. A spiritual growth, especially a spiritual upheaval type of growth, I want to say, <laughs> typically leads to a new beginning that we can't yet see so while things may be a little bit difficult coming into august maybe in the past all right um and this is still on your mind in august maybe all right things are going to get better moving forward they're going to get clearer you're going to get a more clear sense of direction all right it feels like the universe is really trying to pull you in a certain direction all right that, you know, there may be some fear to overcome, you know, to fully commit yourself to this direction. There may be some underlying emotions, underlying negative energies here that could be blocking this new beginning from fully coming in the way it needs to, all right? And I feel the way you want it to. But there's fear with that as well, moving on at the same time. The Four of Michael, insights that come from meditation, the need for more sleep, seek relief from stress. Could be a little bit of a stressful month, could be a little bit of just a hectic month, both physically and mentally, all right? Lots of changes going on around you, like I said. Many of you could be starting new things this month, new, new jobs, new relationships. Just, it feels like a fresh new month where out with the old and with the new and it feels like maybe the first half of the month is, is kind of really dusting it out and getting really out with the old you know mentally spiritually emotionally right physically and then this new beginning can come in all right um and you charge forward ahead with success positive thinking positivity around you But then yet there is the back and forth. Did I make the right decision? Have I made the right decision? I feel like you definitely have made the right decision by the end of August 2018, moving into September. And if you, if not, there's a decision that, another decision that will most likely have to be made. All right. It feels like this decision is a bit more pressing. All right. Than this one here. It's like this one is like I need it now. 
Now, of course, it feels like this energy is kind of testing you. This energy is kind of, it feels to me, um, this energy is testing you. This energy is, is wanting to get you to do what it wants you to do. But you've gone through this period of, of growth, of learning. Maybe that, you know, what this person wants me to do, what this entity, this corporation, this institution, my own inner self, self-sabotaging voice maybe wants me to do is not true to who I am. It's not true to what I want for my life at this point. Because I've had time to get some clarity and some sense of direction. I've reconnected with that inner part of myself that knows who I am, that always remembers who I am and never forgets and never lets me forget. So it's a almost like a, a month of you... Mm, Reconnecting with yourself. Reconnecting with yourself and remembering what it is to be you. You, you the Gemini, you know. <sighs> Powerful reading. Powerful month for you guys, okay? If you want to elaborate more, contact me on my website for a personal reading at lamartownsintero.com. I would love to elaborate more. You guys have a great month. Please like, share, subscribe. Okay, thank you for listening and watching and catch you next month. Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button, share with your friends and your family. And also, please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook. Purchase it on my website or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?